What up trappers, we are back. We have the DSP installed, we set the high and low pass filters. Uh, we gotta set up a little bit and it's jamming, it's gone. I don't quite have the EQ and all of it completely set up. I messed with it uh, a little bit on my phone with the software and was checking all that stuff out and it's all set up, functions good, it sounds great. A lot of extra clarity and it's great. So let's get you flipped around so you can check it out. All right, trappers, here it is. Uh, this is the switch that I was telling you about, lights up blue. It's pretty much the overall gain knob, the volume knob, that's for it. Uh, I think it goes to 66, let's see if, yeah, it goes to 66. Um, and it's got different modes, preset modes. I can click it and I can select, you know, one through six, whatever the preset is. And then it'll go through its little cycle. And change so now it's in preset mode now it's going to go back to the volume there we go we have the inputs from the head deck ran in we have our lows and our highs here it doesn't really matter how this is it's just a signal and then it actually processes inside here whether it's a high or a low so these are set to full range pretty much they're coming in from the head deck the one is set for subwoofer so that way I can turn it off on the head deck um, so only the subwoofer outs are listening to these ports. But anyway, that's a whole that's a, that's a whole lot. But anyway, this is going in and coming out these two here, and that's going into the amp for the high. So it's listening to this, and it has its uh, low and high pass filters, that sort of thing set up. So it only gets certain frequencies, and it's set up for mids and highs, and they'll be coming in through here. So the DSP is listening to these ports to output here to go to the blue amp that's under the seats. Um, these ports are set up at, for my subwoofers. They have low pass filters set, and they output at these RCAs on this side. Um, and pretty much the reason that I have it set like this rather than all the inputs listening to or all the outputs listening to all the inputs is because on my head deck I have subwoofer control and I can push subwoofer on or off and it turns those leads out on my head deck so if I have just my subwoofers coming into here and these outputs are only listening to these two for those frequencies when I kill my subwoofer I kill all the output to my subs as well but I will remain with my high pass and still run my mids and my highs so that way I can just kill the subs um, I know it's probably a little diff you know I know this probably a little bit for a lot of you guys to understand but if you check out DSPs and uh, you look them up and do some research you'll figure out what I'm saying or if you're familiar with uh, DSPs digital signal processors uh, you'll understand what I'm saying uh, volume knob that's kind of that's kind of cool lights up blue matches a lot of stuff with the truck that's kind of a neat little deal I haven't ran that yet I just have it set here um, just as I'm playing with it doodling with it just trying to get things set um, but that's it guys we got it ran up everything squared away this will probably get ran I'm not sure exactly but it's really not necessary because this volume control I have set it's already set with the preset so I think it's set at like 55 inside the preset so when the preset loads and comes on it should automatically set the volume for 55 so I don't I don't really need this and then I can just control the volume with my head decks because the volume of the listening sound is controlled by the preset as well um, here's the Bluetooth dongle I left that in it's not really necessary I can use it for tuning and to tune the parabolic EQ but it also lets me stream straight to that so that's kind of cool guys um, like if I didn't have a head deck or my head deck malfunctions I can stream media straight from my phone into here and it will still outload or output to all my speakers so I may have a project for that funding and being able to acquire what I'm thinking um, is the difference there so what I really like to do is to be able to completely remove my head deck and get that out of there. Just put a plain panel in it, put my base control knobs, my knob for my fog lights, and in the switch for my multimeter and some other things like that, control things where my head deck would go and just a plain plastic panel 
and put in a tablet like a 12 inch Windows tablet or an Android tablet something like that I don't really want an iPad I don't really care for the Apple software I think an Android tablet would probably be the nicest in there one that's 12 inches and has 128 gigs plus of memory that sort I think would be real nice it'd be really easy to function while you're in motion and doing things like that um, there would be a very large screen very nice up front in the head deck so that may be something that we check out later guys if the resources are available and this is what will pretty much make that possible is this little Bluetooth dongle and we'll stream straight to that in the outputs and then these inputs will completely go away we won't need these inputs here at all uh, those RCA's come from the head deck so if we're Bluetoothing into it this is the only thing that we'll need so that's what I'm thinking guys that's planning but that's in the future to come but this is the DSP and really I just uh, I went to the hardware and I got some velcro strips like this is soft like uh, the soft side of velcro so I got some velcro strips put them on the back of this sticks to there real easy I can remove it if I need to but it's definitely stuck on really good but that's the DSP we'll probably be back more with some more tuning I want to give you guys another sound test and do another excursion test you will see a huge difference because of this DSP um, just because of the way it sends signal and way it handles the speakers um, if you've watched the video that's getting ready to come up on the stereo uh, which isn't out yet but at the time it will, it will be out so if you watch the old video on the stereo and you come back and watch this on the excursion test you'll definitely see the difference and most likely you'll hear the difference too I don't know how well this camera works as a microphone to pick up sounds but it seems to do okay but I don't know if it would be good enough for you to tell a difference but this is a nice addition to what we have going on back here this is really great and I just want to thank our subscriber again he knows who he is thank you so much we're gonna make sure that we take care of you on this this is great guys I got a hell of a deal can't even tell you hell of a deal on this and this is great just uh, its functionality is what makes it so nice as well so that's what we got going on back here guys um, if resources are available we're probably going to get one of the power acoustic four channels that are like this I think it's 3500 watts uh, four channels divided up um, I have to check it out and we'll do the same math and we'll get an idea of what it's really outputting I'm almost certain that 3500 watts through the four channels is not truly what its output is going to be but it'll st still be real nice it'll match these and I think we'll do some moving we will move this amp uh, just above that amp we'll take this one and put it above there we'll put the four channel here along with the DSP and that'll be the setup back here guys and I think after that and if we do the tablet I'll be done with this project we won't need to do anything else back here that will be just fine like that it really will be so I hope you enjoy the clip trappers I hope you keep coming back to watch more uh, we're definitely going to get a sound test on this when I get it tuned in a little better and I'm a little more familiar with what's going on and making sure that everything's going to be okay. I know because that I changed the signal input and outputs here with this signal processor that I'm most likely going to have to reset the gains on all five of the amps. That seems very likely. So before we get a sound test and things like that, we'll get the gains set properly make sure that it's the gains are tuned right because we changed our signal that will change the level of your gains guys so if you do something like that or you change RCAs you go from longer ones to short ones or short ones to long ones things like that may not necessarily make a difference but they very well can and it is possible so that's something to look at if if you're doing any kind of little projects uh, if you change your RCAs, your signal inputs in any way, definitely go back over and check your gains again. We go get your oscilloscope and your multimeter and check them out. But we have the unique task of uh, tuning not just one amp. We will have to tune five amps, four of these subs, and one for the highs. So we'll get to uh, we'll get to tune those all over again. That should be interesting. All right, guys, this is the clip on that. Keep on trapping.